me, creativity is having perhaps a question, but not knowing the answer. It's something that has to come from within you to pull out of you. You just have to use your imagination to make it real. My name is Alexa Mead, and I'm an artist. I paint on people and make them look like two-dimensional paintings of themselves. My home deeply impacts my work. The whole thing is an art installation. Not only are all the walls painted fun colors, but I've built into the house all sorts of wacky and weird features. There are some parallels with the medium of Lego bricks to my main body of work. It uses bright blocks of color, but other than that, I mean, the form of a brick versus the liquid of paint couldn't be more different. I'm having to turn on a totally different part of my brain, and one that I frankly haven't really played with much since I was a kid. My name is Elijah, and I am her older brother. I am Kyrie, and I am her younger sister. <laughs> I mean, his younger sister. There you go. I would use my Lego bricks to build my sports car. A robot. I also build my house. A huge mansion. 15 guest rooms. A royalty room. A heart-shaped pool. A star-shaped jacuzzi. And a playground. Before I sat down with these kids, I had the idea to do a portrait. And I thought that bringing the kids in, we would have ideas like, let's do a cool hat, or uh, let's use the color green. And instead, they came at me with totally world-exploding ideas. They kids are more creative than adults. They're like still learning things, and their mind is clear. Adults, their brains are a little rusty, and they have a little dust. There's no limit, because Lego bricks can go on forever and ever. And you can just build it over and over again, and you'll never stop, because they're fun, they're exciting. What if those aliens? The alien have a uh, big head like that. Very spiky hair. In the background, it's like ocean, right? And then mm -hmm. there's like little tiny snow sparkles on it. We should make like a rainbow, like a real rainbow in the background. Over the top, just big and pow. I yeah. would be very happy to make anything rainbow. The alien gives me more of a vibe, so I'm gonna do the alien first. Okay. This is gonna be the most awesomest thing I ever built in my whole entire life. It went way beyond my imagination. And it was really cool because I didn't realize that I was so limited in my scope of what this work of art could be. And I was previously just thinking along the lines of, um, cool, are the lips gonna be red, purple, brown? <laughs> Not, are the lips gonna be a shark? This is gonna be so exciting, I can't wait. <laughs> When I'm painting on people, I am taking a three-dimensional space and covering a layer of color. But while I'm building with the Lego bricks, I am building with blocks of color. And uh, they wanted a rainbow in the background. And they wanted ocean for the ground. I initially thought that I was going to be building a more traditional form, and uh, the kids were really insistent upon having a giant eyeball in the center of the head. And that's where this comes into play. I have never done an eye like this before. In fact, in my normal body work, I paint everything but the eyes. So this was a fun exercise in artistic license. This piece is a brainchild of Delijah and Kyrie. They wanted to see all sorts of things put together in one Lego sculpture. And uh, I didn't think it was possible, but now we're seeing it. In this project, I've taken a lot of the things that I've learned from my body of work of painting in three-dimensional space. Uh, for example, integrating the background with the foreground and thinking of the project as seen from multiple angles rather than it just being a static frontal piece. This is really a sculpture. You know, I have Lego bricks at home and I always thought they were a tool for playing, but now I'm seeing that they're a tool for arting, that I can create a masterpiece with them. Check it out. How do you want to do that? Part of the beauty of Lego bricks is that once you think you're done with your creation, you can always go back in and add more onto it and rebuild. That no piece is ever finished. It's always a work in progress for you to reinvent and reimagine. That's probably what I love most about it. 
we would never made this without all of us. So. so many different textures and so many different ways to build with Lego bricks. It's like, you could do anything. Yeah. Literally anything. I mean, we couldn't have made it without all of us. <laughs>